There's nothing to see here. I'm nothing to see here. <laughs> Looks like I have shoes on. I don't. I look like gorilla feet. She's just hissing at me, and so I throw the baby down. <laughs> I think, okay, there's your baby, and she's still hissing at me. And I hurry and pull these boards away from the trap door so the other baby could get out, and I'm screaming. Well, I just got home from eating out with my friend. It was her birthday, so I bought her meal. And Papa O's neck's been hurting, and he says he's not going to go walking today. And he says, oh, I won't go walking today. So I come home, and he's gone, gone walking again. But at least he left a note. He usually just disappears and goes away. So here's his note. Gone for a two-mile walk. Can you see it? It is very hot out there. It's 103 degrees or 105, something like that. At least he's walking in the mall where it's air-conditioned. So there's a plus there, but oh well. And this is our chicken pen, and the neighbor is going to put a walk uh, staircase down to his basement so he can rent it out. He's going to put a wooden fence here like this one and then the vines will grow along the top. And see that tree over there? He said that it, he was digging the lilac bush out so he planted out back and this tree started to lean towards our house. But he was able to push it, it was already dead and he just pushed it over, saved our house. Way to go. He's the one that built our tree house, Fred. And the chickens have been kind of talking to him and stuff while he's working here. But I can't believe he got that out of there. Yeah, Fred built this fence, so now we have privacy and they planted these vines. So we have full privacy back here. It's so nice. And we helped pay a little bit on the fence, 100 bucks. That's not much, but he, he didn't ask us to. We just said, well, we can pay some. And it's just so nice to have our privacy here. And then that lady painted up planted all the vines back here and so we have our privacy they put those slats through the fence <laughs> it's funny when when she put the slats through she I said so I guess we can't talk through the fence anymore and she says I don't like my husband looking at you I go you don't like him looking at me <laughs> there's nothing to see here I'm nothing to see here I thought that was cute and funny that she said that <laughs> There's nothing to see here, I'm Got telling you. Mode, I think scared off the kitties. But note to self, this is what happens when you mow the lawn with uh, bare feet. <laughs> like okay, I have so. shoes on, I don't. I look like gorilla feet. <laughs> mow the lawn barefoot, that's what happens. Oh boy, <laughs> storm hit. Boy, 100 and, oh, 105 weather. Oh dear, get back inside. Oh, 105 degree weather, and all of a sudden we get this. Those are big drops. Ooh, the wind blowing hard. Rain's coming down hard, too. Back inside. Ooh, I wonder where the kitties are going to go. I have a place on the porch, but they won't go there. They think I'm going to catch them, which I will. <laughs> and Joe wants to know if the windows work in the van while it's raining. Okay, what if you can get the window down but you can't get it up and it's raining? Did the windows work? No. <laughs> okay. Oh well, is it still raining? It looks like it's kind of coming in flashes or something. Oh, uh, it's just because we're watching the flash, yeah. It's coming down hard. You said it's not. Ooh, it looks scary out there. I'll yeah, go shopping right there, when it stops raining. Okay, I'm out back. And somebody's doing fireworks. Keeping an eye on the kitties. So that's where the kitties, they don't seem too scared of the fireworks. <laughs> I just noticed the light. Look at all those bugs in there. Apparently they get through the screen. Time to clean it, right? Whoa, look at that. I get through the screen. I can see the kitties out there playing. Come out in the evening. There we go, nice and clean. <laughs> well, someone's here to come get you, kitty. She's here. Uh-oh. Okay, here comes the lady to take the baby. Here she comes. Oh, she's the lady in our ward, her neighborhood. There she goes. Oh, goodbye, Eugene. 
She's going to love him. He'll get to be outside too. She needs a mouser. Oh, that's sad to say goodbye to him. You get attached. Oh, I shouldn't have got attached. There she goes. One down, two to go. Bye, Eugene. Orange Jean. It's funny, the, it's like the kitties knew they were time to go. They were meowing. Now the other one's quiet. And the mother was meowing by the door. How did they know? Kind of amazing. Kind of spooky, huh? They, it's like they knew they were going. It's a hot one today. 103, I think they said. And I'm heading off to go run some errands and see if I can exchange some pants. I just got home and the lights are out. The electricity, the telephone pole is on fire. Uh, so it's going to be out for about four more hours. So maybe I'll go shopping, maybe find some electricity. And the lady with the solar power across the street, she says her lights are out too. Spent $7,000, no lights. Guess you gotta have a power or a storage box to go with that. And Joe, Papa O's gone. He must have gone on a walk. And so, nothing to do here without electricity. So maybe I'll go down to Ross or Walmart or something. Maybe pick out a little outfit for a baby shower I'm going to. I'm here at Ross and the line is way long. I gotta get some cute outfits for the baby shower for my grandson's whose birthday. I gotta mail it to him. And Oregon. Okay, you guys, my heart is still pounding. I wished I'd have took my camera, but who, who knows when something's gonna happen? So I just have to tell you about it. So the kitty that I had uh, blocked off on the porch here was meowing and crying and meowing at that little kitty door over there. And I thought, well, we don't have anybody that wants to take it yet. Let's let it still be with its mama. So I thought, well, let's go around here. And uh, it was meowing by the door wanting to get out. So I came around here. And I saw the mommy kitty and the other baby. And I thought, oh good, the other baby. I want to catch that one. So I grabbed the other baby, pick it up, and it starts just screeching. And the mom comes at me and I hurry him back off. Oh, she scared me. That's a nice one. And she's just hissing. And I've got her baby in my hand, so I she runs past and goes over here. And I and she's just hissing at me. And so I throw the baby down. <laughs> and okay, there's your baby, and she's still hissing at me. And I hurry and pull these boards away from the trap door so the other baby could get out and I'm screaming and then they run under the fence there and Joe comes running out to see what happened and that, I mean, that scared me I've already given away one kitty so she has two left and I think I'm just gonna try again maybe in a couple of weeks when they're a little bit older because that was way scary and I might have to set the trap out oh my gosh set the cat trap out and catch that mama she's so wild Oh, I know she didn't want me to take her babies, but what are we to do? You know, we can't have babies running around. Oh my gosh, that just scared me. Oh, and then Papa O, you know, he, uh, okay, and the lights are back on, by the way. And Papa O, he says, oh, that, um, that where, where they found, where a guy was hit by a car and was dead when Papa O was out walking. And then when they had the, the live wire, and today he goes out on his walk and he says, there again in the same spot, he says it's like the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, same spot, um, the, there was a tow truck in the middle of the road trying to get a car from the house. And so they were, the street was blocked off again and he was hoping this time he didn't have to walk the extra mile to get around. But this time they let him through. I guess his life wasn't in danger this time. Well, I am glad that the electricity's back on because I was, I was the only way to cook, to go out on the fire pit and cook something out there. But it's so hot. Oh, but here's what I got. 12 bags for $5. 12 gift bags. This is for little Henry's birthday present. I got some some ball, uh, balls for him. I'm going to send that to Oregon. And what else? Oh, I got him this cute little outfit and then I'll send him some candy. We get ten dollars to spend because that's a lot of grandkids so he'll get I'll send those to him in the mail. And this is for the baby shower. Isn't that cute? And it's got a little thing on there, little bum. And this one's got a thing on the bum. <laughs> so cute. I love it when they do that. <clears throat> and then this this will be for 
never never ever no never ever 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 quit we're gonna run in the 24th of July race I got some pants I gotta look good if I'm gonna be running in a race right and these are cute these uh, uh, pants have these cute things on the side and then I got this cute shirt this cute red shirt I've never worn red before so that'll be cute then I stopped and got some guitar strings. I gotta start writing some more songs. Some guitar strings. My guitar strings broke. So I've got about 10 songs that you guys haven't heard yet. Uh, I've got the chorus. I have to finish them. For some reason I can always write the chorus and, um, and I have to think of a verse and it's really hard for me to think first. The chorus is really easy. So I gotta get to work and get some more songs because I'm liking your responses to my songs. You guys seem to like them. So, and I kind of thought my window had closed for writing songs, so maybe I'll hunker down and get get the cor the verses written to the songs. So, let's make Papa O some dinner. Rice a roni tonight. <laughs> oh, get all blurry. Oh, scary with a kitty though. Very, very scary. All right, let me get to work. Oh, look at the sunset. I've calmed down a little since the kitties tried to attack me. My goodness. What do we do when the grandkids come over? They want those kitties so bad. Well, that was a fun day. And I'm going to go ahead and close the, the vlog tonight. And just remember that the only thing that changes, the only thing that stays the same is that things change. Does that make sense? <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And good night, everybody. With dirt. When I was a little girl, turned on the water spout, nothing didn't come out. Mama quickly walked in, looked at her, and I grinned. I said, Don't worry, Mom, because Daddy can fix it. Daddy, you can do it. Fly, you can swing me away high. You can conquer the world with your smile. Yes, you can. No matter what goes wrong, I'm never alone. Cause daddy can. I slipped my prom dress on And then I answered the phone He said I know what to do I'm down with the flu Through the tears I saw my dad In a brand new suit he had He winked and took my hand he said daddy can't fix it Daddy you can do anything you're the king You can fly you can Swing me away up high. You can conquer the world with your smile Yes, you can No matter what goes wrong Never alone Cause daddy can't fix it He took off his wedding band Put it in my hand He said there's no need to cry We gave it our best try With a loving hand my dad took him aside He said you haven't even begun to try You're the daddy now, boy Go, go and fix it